The last two weeks haven't been good. Um, like the wind was too low, not really able to train much, and it does something to your confidence. And then today was just prime Cape Town. Like it was amazing. Like I had a one and a half hour session because the comp will start tomorrow, so I didn't want to do too much the day before the comp but uh, I needed this and this was really good I managed to land all the things I want to land and uh, yeah like I'm ready bring it on I was born in Holland um, and I've been working in Tarifa for like six seasons, six summers, I was working in Tarifa, teaching kiting. And uh, two years ago, I decided to stop teaching and just train my ass off because I decided that I actually really want to become like a, a big air rider and, and ride every day as much as I can and hopefully turn that into my job. Um, and a lot of people told me I'm too old for that stuff because I was already 24 back then. Um, but I thought, I've got nothing to lose, I'm just going to give it everything for a year and let's see what happens. to get some, some kiting in, at least on a 10 or a nine meter here in Cape Town to, to go through my tricks and to feel that I've got everything dialed in also here in Cape Town. And unfortunately, we haven't been blessed with the strongest winds here. So I've only been on a 12 so far. Um, but every time it's not windy, I just do what I can to, to make sure I'm fit and I'm ready uh, physically as well as mentally to, to perform in King of the Air. I think Cape Town for a lot of people is a, is a different place, but to me it's the birthplace of Big Air. It's where Big Air earned its stripes, it's where Big Air grew, and, and where Big Air for me became the thing I, I wanted to do more than anything. May the best rider win. Good luck to you all, and thank you.
Um, yesterday I was amped, but I wasn't calm enough and collected enough to, to go for good kickers and I was going for absolutely everything. So definitely looking forward to improving that today and uh, to bounce back big time. sport like Lewis Crether and Aaron Hadlow, um, guys who have set the benchmark for all of us big air riders, especially all the new guys coming in. And it was an absolute pleasure uh, to send it with those guys. And then to go up against uh, Steg Hufnagel, a good friend of mine. Um, it was just a lot of fun and it was crazy to, to perform on a high level with so many really good riders. And super stoked, uh, very happy with my performance, but not happy enough since I'm not on first place and that's the goal for next year. <laughs> <laughs> 